All right, welcome to another AAPA Pants Panda Review Quick Case. My name is Paul Jun. This is John Maybe. Hiya. And let's get to today's case. Okay. A 20 year old woman who is left hand dominant comes to the office because of pain in her left wrist that began after a fundraising car wash two days ago. She attempted to play racquetball this morning as she usually does for exercise, but had difficulty holding onto her racket because mm. of pain. Physical exam of the wrist shows mild tenderness to palpation on the radial aspect. Finkelstein test is positive. In addition to administration of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, which of the following is the most appropriate initial treatment of this patient's condition? A, application of elastic wrist wrap. B, application of a short arm cast. C, application of a short arm volar splint. D, application of a thumb spica splint. Or E, corticosteroid injection at the site of maximum pain. John, what's the answer? What's going on? And what kind of question is this? Okay. So the correct answer for this is option D, application of a thumb spica splint. Okay. So the type of question this is falls under this category of clinical intervention. So here what they're asking for is, do you know the appropriate procedure to use to intervene on somebody? Or like, does someone need even need a procedure? Some, some patients just need observation for their particular mm -hmm. condition. So that's the kind of question uh, that we're asking for here. So let's take a look at, at these options. So when we take a look at this diagram, it's it's showing you the physical exam finding that we noted as well as the particular treatment. So this is an example of um, the, a Finkelstein test. Yeah. So that maneuver is done by um, doing this basically. You get the person's thumb inside the palm, you wrap their fingers around and ask them to ulnar deviate their, their wrist. So here I'm kind of doing it backwards so it's that motion. So when you do that, you elicit pain right there yeah. and that would be positive for what's this patient's diagnosis then? De Quervain's sinusitis. Right, exactly. So we have like entrapment of those uh, tendons that run in the first dorsal uh, wrist compartment. So positive Finkelstein's test and uh, there you have it pretty it. much. So the treatment is shown in the bottom part of that picture. That's an example of a, a commercially available thumb spica splint that we uh, put on mostly to immobilize the thumb, right? What you want to do is prevent that back and forth yeah. uh, excursion of those tendons. So in line with that, let's talk about the uh, other answer options. Uh, option A is application of an elastic uh, wrist wrap so that's like uh, putting on one of those like ace bandage kind yeah. of things and you know then have like support quote unquote. exactly right. <laughs> yeah. so whatever they're effective for they actually do have indications but clearly uh, not here so that's not Got the it. correct okay. option uh, application of a short arm cast uh, this a is bit all, extreme <laughs> yeah bit extreme for this particular condition and also the uh, when you put a short arm cast on it does not include immobilization of the thumb so you actually have defeated the the purpose of even uh, putting uh, anything on in Got this it. particular circumstance option c application of a short arm volar splint basically has the same problems as option b we're not uh, um, immobilizing the thumb so basically it's an ineffective uh, treatment for this condition option d of course is the correct one the last one is corticosteroid injection at the site of maximum pain. We typically don't do this in the acute phase, like yeah. uh, someone has like uh, this acute inflammatory kind of process. So again, immobilization, NSAIDs, as outlined in this question, is kind of like the conservative approach that we take, tip, uh, take typically. If someone's got uh, pain that's just unresponsive to conservative therapy, maybe several weeks down the road or even a couple months down the road, there, there might be an indication to use uh, corticosteroid injections, but certainly not uh, in, in the acute circumstance. Got it. So again, the question here is asking for most appropriate initial treatment of yeah. this condition. Right, so you want to keep that in mind when you uh, take a look at these test questions. So again, this is a test question that's asking you about like some type of clinical intervention. What's the appropriate procedure to do for a given condition? And then uh, there you have Got it. it. De Quervain's tenosynovitis, you're thinking Finkelstein test positive, and then immobilize it with supportive care in a thumb spike a splint. Absolutely. And that wraps it up for this quick case. Good deal. Thanks. We'll see you next time.